Hi guys, welcome back. I am Red Zed, and today we are continuing our campaign in Divide and Conquer as Darwinian. Yes. Last time we did some fat battles, honestly. Buralga was pretty good. Pretty fun battle. Very brutal. Lots, uh, lots going on there. We killed 3,500 troops or something crazy. I think it's 3,200 troops. Uh, we defended Avalon's Rest. <laughs> kind of. Um, that was the weird battle of instant death for the, <laughs> for the Mordor Orcs. So, I don't know. Simultaneous uh, heart, uh, heart attacks for all of them. Uh, maybe it was Sauron just putting a spell on them because he was so upset that they weren't winning the battle. <laughs> but that's what we're going to tell ourselves anyway. But yeah, we are in a decent situation. We are now finally building in every single settlement, which is fantastic. Absolutely glorious to see. I wanted to just check down here in Enmahalf, like, what can we actually train? I'm going to train another, actually, I'll train a, one of those boys. And then over here, yeah, nothing really too good for training. Mainly because we don't have a lot of Northman culture in these places just yet. Uh, but we should do very soon, so that'll be good. Of course, this is the main issue, is fighting Mordor back. So what we're going to do is, once these boys are done, over here retrained, we're going to send them down to Viltor. We need, looking at it, Rovanian Riders, we're going to combine you two together... Um, I wish we could move you guys around a little bit. Let's do that now, actually. So, cavalry will be last. It's actually the right way round. So, we need 12 units. So, that's pretty much kind of what we've got here already. Uh, but once all these guys are retrained, we'll send 12 units down here. And then we'll start retraining for a new army, like we said, for the third army on this front. Because it's such a big and wide front, and there's no way we're going to be able to defend everywhere. And Mordor is just sending shitty little annoying armies everywhere to try and beat us back. Which is quite annoying, but there's not much we can really do about it at all. So, let's get you down to Viltor as well. Right then, let's end the turn. Hopefully we don't get attacked at Avalon's Rest by some filthy orcs again. On turn 72... Of course, which uh, is pretty good. Doing quite well for then. We're doing well with our economy. Our economy just skyrocketing with the trade around the Sea of Rune. Uh, but, yeah, we are getting a little bit embarrassed by Mordor at the minute. Just taking our settlements with armies of, like, two troops. Um, so, yeah, a bit annoying. But it's just the front is just so wide and, and flat. And there's no choke points whatsoever. And I've pretty much only got one army down there now. Now we've taken out Rune. There's not much else we can really do. Um, I'm thinking, honestly, of sending the Moriquendi Sentinels to Viltur as well. Bur Alga. Bur Alga. We want a Weaponsmith Guild at Bur Alga. Um, I'm not going to accept that for now. <laughs> so. <laughs> Uh, mission failed for not talking to Isengard. I don't care. Uh, we are allies with Rohan, so that's good. We've built the trader at Karasant. So I think it's time to build the Avari barracks in there. I'm just trying to remember. How do we get that final level of barracks? Oh, we need to be a minor city. And that's 9,000 population, which is not too far off, but we might as well get the ability to recruit at the Avari Barracks there. Santanui as well. We could build the gold mines. But honestly, it's definitely time to start smashing out the blacksmith in here. So let's get the Master Masons Hall first. That's going to save us a lot over time. And then Bur Emerikis. That's quite a nice settlement, honestly. Let's go for the Master Mason's Hall there as well. It just, will just save us more and more money over time. Um, and while we're there, we do... Okay, there we are. We've just tra trained quite a few men. Uh, Santan We Enmahalf, we trained the vineyards. Santan We we've got those boys. So you're going down to Vilta. 
So let's send... That's 12 men, isn't it? That's 12 units. So let's send them to Vilta. Let's actually join Atag, whatever his name is. Um, path blocked. Murway the gossip. Yeah, I don't care. And let's see. When is the next time we can train these guys? Seven more turns. 13 for the good guys. So we've got to be careful. These guys only two more turns until we can do it. And again, because Strondost is not a big castle, we're not going to be able to recruit them for quite some time there. So we do need to start upgrading some of these places that are big towns. So maybe Mistrand. Because Mistrand has a minor city. Oh, it's making 3,400 now. That's very, very nice. Mistrand is a minor city. When that Merchant's Wharf is done, we should really look at potentially getting up the barracks there. Because it's a, because it's a minor city, it will be able to get that final level of barracks, which is really nice indeed. So, it needs 75% religion requirement though. And Ah, we're 87%. I forgot, we took Mistrand really quickly, didn't we? Same with Mornithel because it's a large city. Once that's built, we are going to start smashing out the uh, the barracks in here. So let's queue that in there already. Uh, ready to go. Same with Mistrand, actually. It's not going to cost us anything now. So let's queue those in. Although, do we want the Mason's Hall? No, screw the Mason's Hall. Let's get going with our military stuff over there. We've also got this stronghold at Elgair building, which is really good. Nice to see. Uh, right. Let's get these guys into here. Get you moving up to Strondost. Do we have anyone to leave behind? That's the one question. I mean, the eight Rovanian riders would be a good one. Let's have a look. Uh, I mean, it's only 60% if we do that. So I'm thinking potentially, could we recruit? Yeah, let's recruit those two at Mataram. So we've got some garrisons for down here. Could do with some paved roads, like we've said a couple of times, all around this region so we can move troops a lot quicker. The same over here, going this way. Paved roads would be really, really useful. Yes. But yeah, let's... Uh, I think we've got to go kill that, haven't we? That's definitely something we need to do. So let's get all you boys out of Buralga. Let's get you guys in there. And let's see whether one of these units will be enough to keep Buralga happy. Yes, it is. Fantastic. Right then, let's attack them. Looks like they're gonna <laughs> they're gonna fight this. Uh, we'll just withdraw for now. Let's now accept that. Um, and what else in terms of troop movement do we want to do? Nothing else, I don't believe. Apart from Lif, you're gonna go down to Mataram, start training there. That's good. And you guys can actually go all the way up to Strondost. Let's get you all queued in. Let's get those boys queued in. Yep, that's fantastic. Good. Glorious to see. Very nice indeed. Lots of retraining going on. Anyone to retrain here? No. Good. Right then. Ilan in your Ilan is only a wooden castle as well. Carbad's only a large town. How far off upgrading? Yeah, quite a ways off. Same for Karasant. I can't believe Karasant starts as a large town. I thought it would start even bigger than that. Just having a look at these. Wooden Castle. Yeah, Mistrand is probably the next best option. Although, yeah, Mataram's only a town. So is Enmahav. So it's really not any point in doing that. But Avalyn's Rest would be a good option. We just need some more culture. And it's right in the back of Mordor. So maybe that's what we'll do. Same thing for this stronghold up here. Both of these would be great recruitment grounds so yeah that's going to be fantastic when we get that going but first of all let's fight whatever his name is captain ushgol ushgol let us kill mr ushgol he doesn't have much does he so yeah let's go i'm gonna try and shoot him to death to start with that should be quite fun so let's see how we do again it is time to scourge the absolute fools uh, from this area. Scourge? Scour. <laughs> scourge the scourge from the scourgey scourge. Again, our infantry is not really the most powerful you've ever seen in your life. But neither's theirs. So 
Let's not worry about it too much. Where's our cav then? We'll keep our cav on one flank. We'll get the Avari Naharim ready to go as well. And at the minute, we can actually just shoot straight into them. So let's do that. I'm hoping they don't run away. Well, they're going to come after us because, of course, we've got the skirmish advantage. Probably worth maybe expanding our line slightly to maybe something like that. Vineyard levies. I mean, you're not going to be fantastic, but you might as well go over there. For now, I think we're going to just save the Avari Naharim for later because I don't really want them to get killed too much. What I'm thinking right now with you guys is fire straight into the Wog Marauders. See what we can do there. And then let's get straight behind out the back. Who is the one? Oh, yeah, it's, it's these guys. Let's get gone before the Wog Marauders catch us, boys. But honestly, I don't think this is going to be anything to worry about at all, this battle. They're going to charge straight in the Avari Spearmen and the Dorwinian Infantry, which is fine. I'm assuming that's the general as well. I can't see anyone else being the general. So let's come forward. Let's go and kill some archers, some foolish archers who think they're hard, but they're not. Orc Maulers are going after the Mori Quendi Protectors. That's actually probably good, a good choice by them. But we will surround them. You guys fire, you know, properly into there. You fire into there. There we go. Captured him again. Look at the arrows going. Let's go charge into them. You guys can actually charge this host. It's not a spearman. Remember, they are sword and board. So this should be a pretty nice charge. Edwin's unit is a pretty beastly one. As we can just see. Wow, we have just more than halved that unit in one charge. That's obscenely powerful, boys. These guys are broken. Let's get out of here now. Are we still not going to break them? No, not quite. I mean, he's got a gold experience now, so he should be very, very, very strong. Let's get into them. You guys get there. You guys come around. You go fight the Orc Maulers that have come back. Yeah, this 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 poor you this poor army is just absolute trash munchers. Poor poor Dolgador, and it said it was pretty much even. Never say that the orcs are even to us, boys. Never say. <laughs> Come on, again they're in loose formation, so they're actually going to take the charge probably better than the other guys did. But just kill as many of them as you can. Got anyone left? It looks it looks like these guys over here really. You guys are going to fight them. Uh, we'll actually send you after these. You actually go after the Mirkwood Hunters. Men of the Thorn. Yep, straight in. It's everyone routed now. Uh, let's get you guys after them. Edward in. You can go after them. Let's uh, kill as many as we can. Yeah, we've not quite got enough. So I think Edward in, you need to go after those Mirkwood Goblins, honestly. You can chase these guys down. And those uh, Orc Maulers, in fact, go after the Maulers first. And then we'll get past 85%. And we will end the battle. So that's 86. But let's just make sure that we do a good cleanup job here. Uh, and then what are we on? Yeah, 92. That should be enough. Glorious victory. We lost 98. <laughs> and pretty much we killed 1,500. Oh, glory, glory, glory to us. Fantastic. Vintner Court Paladins catching 200, killing 150. Very nice indeed. I will see you back on the campaign map, guys. Here we are. And let's execute as usual. Very nice indeed. Enemy camp sacked. I mean, yes, Edwardin already is a general, so I don't know <laughs> what that's about. Uh, I'm wondering... Speaks highly of you. So they have this. I don't really want to go after this settlement, Enethaur, because that's the Vale of uh, Anduin. I want them. I want the, the elves to take Enethaur. But I'm just wondering: Do we go after Erin? Uh, whatever it's called, Erin Dolan was it? Erin Runan. I think we do. I think we do. I know it's an elven settlement and it does rightfully belong to the elves. But they're too slow to take it, aren't they? I mean, we could go straight for 
uh, Trasture or Brown Boat and go straight to Dolgod uh, Amon Lank or Dolgador. But yeah, I think taking a little detour over here will be fine. That is not owned by anyone. That's fine as well. So yeah, Rawberg would be good, but I think striking out against Dolgador is the better option. So let's uh, end the turn there. I don't think there's anything for us to do. No, good. And yeah, it's it's a bit of a weird one, the war with Dolgador, isn't it? It's just so spread out. And Mordor as well in the south. Like, it's just really annoying <laughs> dealing with them, honestly. Um, and I think taking our time and, you know, building our forces up against the back of Mordor is, is not a bad option. Honestly, taking that stronghold is going to be a good option, though, I think. So, looks like they're coming for a bit of action. We really don't have many troops here. What do they have? I mean, they've got nothing as well. But can we beat that? We probably can. But... Oh, that's Dorfalu. That's slightly different. So, let's go for that. Let's fight this. I don't know whether we'll win. Probably not. So it looks like we get defenders here, which is really, really, really useful. What do they actually have? Black Auric Halberds, Moran and Guard, uh, and wait, isn't that Moran and Guard? Ah, I can't remember. Uh, but yeah, Rovanian Spearmen, you get there. It's just going to be who can grind the most and who has the better stats <laughs> so we'll get all you guys can we all go in shield wall that'd be pretty nice <laughs> look at that that's a nice formation isn't it keep you on guard mode as well so let's start the battle i mean if their ram gets destroyed yeah that's moran and guard what's that oh morgul chosen i've forgotten the name of that oh they do have this unit in the back though that i didn't actually see black auric archers that's not going to be great if they're firing over the walls but they shouldn't really be able to hit too much so hopefully they kind of charge in like crazy people as usual. God, they're so inaccurate with the the, the firing, aren't they? So, so inaccurate. Crazily inaccurate. But this is just going to be who can grind the longest, basically. And whose general dies quickest. Hopefully not ours, honestly. Are the archers going to charge in as well? Yeah, it's going to be who whose general survives the longest, basically. Looks like we're pushing them back. But our defenders are not fantastic. Yeah, we're just getting shredded here. Get off that. See whether that makes a difference. And get off that. I, looks like they're not getting shredded quite as much with that. But I think the Morgul Chosen are just going to be too strong. Yeah, they're going to win, unfortunately. Yeah, our general dying as well is not going to help. Our defenders are just not that good. Six attack and... F I mean, 14 defense is decent. They shouldn't have died so quickly. I don't know how they died that quickly. I mean, the Black Auric Halberds are good because of their uh, Halberd, you know, status. But, yeah, the Moranin Guard is not good. The, Bl uh, the Morgul Chosen are decent, though. So, yeah, I just think it's not quite going to be good enough. And there's nothing really else we could have done here in terms of cleverer tactics. It's just trying to survive. So, we'll go on the... Uh, once they get to the town square, we'll, we'll go on the town square. And we'll fight the rest of them on the town square. Because, of course, our guys are going to stay as long as possible. So, there goes one of them running. But, yeah, it's just not quite, quite enough... I mean, we killed nearly half of them, but not really uh, anything else we can do there. So these guys are already dying to the Black Auric Halberds. You guys go and fight them. Only 12 of them left. But we hardly did any damage to them, really. Unfortunate, unfortunate battle. But it's fine. It kind of cleans our borders up with Mordor once again. So, again, we're going to have to go straight after Mordor. Mordor has just been... The thorn in our side, but we're kind of the thorn in their side. So, either way, it's good. But I'll see you on your back. I can't speak. I'll see you on the campaign map, guys. There we are. Dorthalu is gone. In filthy orc hands once again. Um, but, well, not once again. It was once in Easterling hands, but now it's in the orc hands. Um, 
Not great from our perspective, but honestly, taking a few hits back on this front, I don't mind if we're, if we're pushing Dolgador back in the north, and we're also pushing them back actually in Mordor. Um, so Buralga again, it really wants Buralga to, to have a weaponsmith guild. I really don't know why, because it's Buralga. <laughs> it's bloody Buralga, mate. Come on. I think what we'll do, we'll send these Sentinels to Vilter. So basically they can defend if Mordor decides to attack Vilter. And they can also come back and get retrained. That's a lot of building that's happened this turn. Wow. Lots of building. dorflu has been occupied, of course. Uh, Recruitment-wise, we recruited some guys at Strondost. Good. Same with Mataram as well. So let's go with these two back to over to Avalyn's Rest. And we'll go actually in the fort there. If they want to siege us down in the fort, they can do. And if they leave us, we will carry on for our retraining. Uh, Enmar Hearth over here has got a couple of units, so should be able to defend a little bit, a little bit decently. Um, and I think, honestly, it's worth building, you know, the uh, probably the tomb. Yeah, uh, we've got the Mason's Guild House here as well. That's only four turns. But I think, yeah, the tomb probably next. Or, yeah, probably the tomb. So we get the um, the, popu uh, the population culture conversion. And then we'll go with the other stuff. Then we'll go for Kargukor. Which is a stronghold. Wait, it's castle. It's a, a, oh, no, just a, yeah, it's, it's only a castle. What level do we need to get the elves? Let's have a look. Uh, so we go to barracks, castle. Uh, yeah, castle. It looks like we need. Yeah, castle. We can get the Avari armory, so that's good. We could actually recruit the elves from in there if we culture converted and built all the barracks. So honestly, that's really good. That's really good. Right, these guys. Honestly, not worried about Captain Grishnash. Let's push him back. Then let's build that there. Do we have mercenaries available? We have some privateer axemen. Think it's worth it, definitely. And let's go for uh, Erin Runen. I think Buralga, if I'm not mistaken, does it not have a arm, uh, a garrison thing? No, it doesn't. So we will lose it if they come and attack us. But uh, oh well, Dolgador is just so annoying at this point in time. <laughs> Karasant's still building. Strondost is as well. How's the recruitment going over here? Good. Uh, can't retrain any of those boys. So that's fine. You're still building that Thorn Barracks. Anything we can train here? I think probably the Bladesman's a good idea. Yeah, let's build that and then we'll start building up the Blacksmith in this region. Carverad, you're only a large town. Right, let's see where else we can build then. So Naburka has finished building. Let's go for the Herbalist. I know it's quite expensive for what it is. Enmahath. Uh... I mean... Yeah, there's nothing really here that's great. So let's go for that. Wintirian Yar. Let's go, go for something cheap. Same thing over here at Matara. Uh, no, wait. Yeah, same thing with Mataram. Go cheap. Viltor. Let's go for the land clearance. And Bert Alga. Let's go for the... I mean, go for the militia garrison. Because if we can get that in, that just protects us from the south. Really? So that's good. Let's end the turn again then. I don't think... Oh, yeah. We, could, we need to accept that. I don't know why it wants the Weaponsmith Guild in there. It's just pointless. <laughs> uh, it looks like they've got a bit of an army at uh, Tusture. But, yeah. I don't. I really don't want to cook the elves. I want the elves to come and kind of expand down south. But looks like the AI is being extremely slow, as usual, about their movement. So, not much we can really do there. Not much we can really do. If they're just going to be absolute slugs about it, then we'll have to... Uh, you know, watch their sluggy ways and try <laughs> try and do what we can against the slugs. The slugs. The big slugs. 
Um, yeah, exactly. Where's the music gone? Where's the rum gone? My song. Yes, very good. Right. Um, ignore that. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, the elves need to come down south. Like, what are they doing? Why are they so slow? It's it's honestly really just annoying. We got a gift from the council. Thank you, my friends. I appreciate your fine gift. Let's go up there. So Strondos actually got the blacksmith, which is fantastic. Can we not get the armorer? Is it because it's a wooden castle again? Yeah, we need castle level now. That's really annoying. I want to try this way station, what it actually does. So let's get that. <gasps> yes. Let's get some more elves for the army. Some more elvy boys. Uh, actually, we should... I'd rather get all those boys retrained first before we get these guys. Because this army isn't, you know, 100% necessary. Let's go. Carver had got the communal farming. Would be nice to get that. Let's go for the Master Masons Hall again. Rhubar, let's go for the roads. Would probably be the best option if Avalyn's Rest has a cheap option for us. So did we just build... Oh, we need to build the tomb there. So let's queue that in for now. Faction announcements. Lots of people getting some traits, which is good. Military-wise, we're still 20th. Uh, production and population were doing quite well, which is good. Uh, but yeah, Santan, we got some more thorny boys. So you guys could, should get to Vilta. You can actually get to Vilta now. So what we should do, get Norway out. Get you into Vilta and get you guys there. Now, I have to put that down to low, but that's yes. fine. And we've got Norway the Conqueror. So let's go down south. Let's go and take Mordor out. We'll accept that now. You guys are actually got free upkeep right now, which is great. So let's keep that up. Uh, yeah, I'm not too bothered about those boys. Beralga, yeah, building that. Good. You're moving on Eren Runen. So that Mordor army didn't really try and follow us. So let's get going back to Strondost. You're going to Mataram, aren't you? And you boys, let's come down this way. So they can actually reach us. But if we, you know, stay out, if we retreat, we should be out of their range uh, with our garrison boyos. But could we leave now if we left, say, like, eight Rovanian riders behind? I doubt it. 60%. Not too bad. Is there anyone else that could be left? Not really. Uh, so we'll try next turn anyway. We'll try next turn. So that should hopefully be pretty nice. So good. Everywhere's building still fantastic. I love to see that. That really does make me very happy. Let's get the Thorn Guard with the extra cash we've got. Um, yeah, because the Thorn Guard are just so good. Like, <laughs> so overpowered. Ilanin is so poor. How are you so poor, Ilanin? You're trading Mistrand and Karasan. Only one more turn. So let's see. That's It's about 3,500 that um, Mistrand is making now. Let's see what that Merchant Wharf does to our economy after that. It should be a pretty nice bit of a boost to the old economy. Very good indeed. Again, the music goes at the end turn. I don't know why. It's a very strange situation. Uh, but yeah. Again, Dale have been completely cooked by us. And I honestly don't mind that. I, you know, hopefully they don't attack us. But they shouldn't really attack us at all. Um, so as long as we take Rawberg, they'll be 100% cooked. So they can't actually come south. That means we get all the land to ourselves for free. Which is pretty nice, honestly. So, yeah, happy with that. Um, looks like Mordor's not done anything stupid again. Neither's Dolgador, which is good. Uh, there's Sauron coming up. Big Sauron after the Ar Ardunayam. Where's, uh, where's all the money gone? Brother. Where's all the money gone? <laughs> I mean, I guess we were queuing up buildings, but it's 
build that for the, the le rest of the cash. Oh, we were queuing up buildings and units, weren't we? So now we're not building in every place. But Mistrand was 3,500. Now 3,760. That's pretty good. I mean, it's still making eight, saying 8,000 a turn. So that's quite a lot of money that we've spent there <laughs> uh, in that last turn on buildings and stuff that we'd had queued up, which is interesting. I wasn't quite expecting it to be that much. But let's, uh, let's keep coming. Now let's see whether we can leave the eight Rovanian riders behind. Still only 60%. Because uh, I really do want to go and take Kargukor. Because it's a stronghold. It'll be a nice little boost to our economy with that mining network of 1,227. Pretty nice. So you're going into Viltor to protect it. And you are going down to Austin Airy. Very nice. And then we'll go straight to Varfest. Then probably Dorthalu, and we'll have retaken everything that we need. Probably this one as well, then next. Logarth. Uh, but yeah, while we're here, these guys are definitely... Oh my days! What a face! What a beautiful, beautiful orc. Oh dearie me. Looks like he's got a half his face. What is wrong with these orcs, man? <laughs> Uh, right, let's uh, let's come and have a little sneak peek down around here. So there's Austin Gale. Let's go look for Dolgador. We've got another settlement in there. Another one in here somewhere, haven't we? And then obviously Bersouthis as well. So quite a lot of settlements still to take. But I very much believe we're going to get attacked there, aren't we? By Dolgador. Santanui... Karasant has built some troops as well. So what we're going to do with them. Going to send them up to there. Ready to go. So in terms of this third army. Got three. Six. Could go with Vine Lord Swain. Does he just have standard bodyguard though? I mean 77 high paladins is pretty strong. <laughs> Honestly. So yeah. Let's get him there. What about Vine Regent Harwin? I think he has high paladins as well. So. We've got no more unique generals, really. But, ah, that's fine. And then the rest of you boys, let's get these guys. These guys are then, of course, for this army. Yeah, these guys are going to go join up with that army, aren't they? So, let's get the reinforcements down there as quick as possible. There they go. You're going up to Strondost. Where's the general man? There you are. You're going down there. Good. Uh, the Oibamari, there are now our allies. Um, let's go see if we can talk to, like, Gondor and stuff. See how they're doing. But, yeah, I think we're going to leave it there, guys. So, thank you very much for watching. It's been a pleasure, as always. We've done plenty this episode. We've had a nice... Big battle once again, which is really nice to see. So thank you very much for watching, guys. It's been a pleasure as always. And I will see you all again on the next video.